John Carl had the unpleasant task of identifying his beloved daughter's body by the belt and wristwatch she had worn when leaving Buffalo Cove on her fateful journey to be an inspirational singer at the church revival in Stony Fork. Nina was laid to rest in the Buffalo Cove Cemetery. It said that an unusually large crowd was in attendance. Word of her untimely death spread quickly. Many flowers adorned the gravesite amidst the horrible loss of their firstborn. John Carl and Pearl knew that Heaven's Choir had gained one of its sweetest singers ever. After the devastating loss of Nina, the Todd family banded together and life in Buffalo Cove continued during the 1940s. Buna Odell followed John Carl's footsteps by serving in the Army. After returning home, Buna was the first to wed. He married Dorothy Britton. Next, Joseph Riley married Luann Miller. Sadie married Jean Woods. Mary Alice was the last to wed after she accepted my marriage proposal. By 1968, John Carl and Pearl had an even dozen grandchildren. Also during the 1960s, the old winding six mile gravel road that had connected Buffalo Cove to US Highway 268 and the outside world was straightened, widened, and paved. The paving of the Buffalo Cove Road opened the area up to some of the larger southern cities such as Lenore, Hickory, and Charlotte, North Carolina. Many folks that had never ventured to the somewhat isolated area of Buffalo Cove began to enjoy the newly paved six-mile drive across the beautiful mountains that led them to the crossroad at Todd's place. Indeed, John Carl and Pearl lived to see many changes, trials and triumphs. Pearl passed away on October 26, 1985 at the age of 79. Although he was 89 when she was taken away, John Carl insisted on operating the store until he joined her on March 2nd, 1987. He was 91 years old. The store was such an intricate part of the family and local history, Mary and I made the decision to buy the other children's shares and keep it up and running. We changed the name to Todd's Country Store and operated it for some 18 years. In spite of the huge corporate conglomerates that have sucked the lifeblood out of so very many small mom and pop establishments, Todd's Country Store survived to see a new century. By the time the 2000s rolled around, the store was quickly becoming an actual tourist attraction. I think this was largely due to the fact that Mary and I did not and would not modernize it in any way, shape, or form. When folks walk in the store to this day, it's like stepping back in time 80 or 90 years. I really think the older visitors are reminded of a little piece of Americana 
that is gone forever. Perhaps the younger visitors are just intrigued to see a part of history they never experienced. In either case, a visit to Todd's Country Store is certainly enjoyable and extremely different than one's quick trip in and out of a modern convenience store. John Carl and Pearl are fondly remembered. Their names are often raised in the daily conversations by folks that love to visit the store and pass the time talking the way they did over 83 years ago when it became Todd's place. Many news topic articles and local television shows have been done on the store. One of the grandsons even named a replica of the old-fashioned wood cook stoves he produces after the Todd's. Today, in 2008, in an ever-changing and troubled world, I'm very glad and thankful to say Todd's Country Store is alive and well. I'd like to share this poem written by Geraldine Shell. Geraldine lived a little more than a stone's throw from Todd's place. She was a frequent visitor, not only to the store, but also to the Todd home, since she and the Todd girls played and grew up together. Even though she was not a blood relative of the Todd family, upon hearing of the death of John Carl, she penned this poem in tribute to Paul Todd. The proprietor has gone away. It makes one sad inside to pass Todd's store today. Our friend, the proprietor, has gone away. He was a small man in build, but by stature he stood tall. He had a sparkle in his eyes that added to his warm smile. To his integrity none could compare, nor to his love, his ability to care. He gave much to his fellow man, his precious time, his worldly goods, his forever helping hand. Pa Todd, you will be missed by young, by old, by all. For in our grieving hearts and lonely lives, you still stand very tall. So when Todd's store I pass again, I'll know without a doubt that the tears we shed are not in vain, for our loss is heaven's gain.